preacher because I used to dress him in his double-breasted suit. It is a memory this woman will forever cherish when it comes to her nephew, who she helped raise. Unfortunately, memories are all she has. After 17-year-old Kentarvis Vaughn was shot and killed overnight, his aunt says he was shot twice in the chest, unable to survive his injuries. She learned some of the disturbing details in an unexpected phone call overnight. His real biological mom called me and told me to go see about, so she just got a phone call saying he had been shot. She instantly started checking hospitals. So I ran around trying to find her. We was at the uh, Regional War. We was at Labonte, no Kentaris came. Her phone started ringing yet again. Got a call saying he was downtown in a car. Detectives telling us it's here at Union Avenue and BB King Boulevard where he was pronounced dead. But as it turns out, police say the Hamilton High senior was actually shot several miles away at or near East Olive Avenue. Just say it the way all this killing is going on. Even more disturbing, she tells us, is after her nephew, who was also known by the initials KT, was shot, he was driven around for hours before police were made aware of the violent attack. There are many questions that have been left unanswered when it comes to who is responsible and why. Something else the family is struggling to understand is how a so-called one-time friend did not try getting help to KT much sooner. Instead, bringing him several miles from where the shooting actually happened here to the area's entertainment district. They don't deserve the way they're going, leaving here. They don't deserve it. The family is only left with memory some years ago, others dating back just a few days. He called me uh, the, the other day. He said, TT, do you got $10 so I can go to the jammery? While dealing with heartache, the victim's family telling us they also have hope that justice will be served. Reporting in South Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3.